One of our goals that for the River Task Force since we we started meeting is how to improve the quality of life along the river, the tourism, you know, eco tourism, and so forth. Um, as we've said before, if you just Google Whitman Coochie, Swanee River, whatever, a lot of times these things pop up, all these sewer spills and, and all this kind of stuff. And it's, it's devastating to our region and your region uh, when it comes to your, you know, your tourism and your quality of life in the river. So I, I guess my question would be, um, where do we go from here? How do we, as a collective unit here, how do we work together in repairing the reputation of our river? And the Wikipoochee River, the Hall River, the Lapahoochee, all of them, to make it a better place and the people want to visit and canoe on and camp on and, and swim and fish in. So I, my, my question is how can we, where do we go from here in that aspect? Mm -hmm. We, for the next four quarters, I'll celebrate the fact we have a nice school. And then that starts cycling down the Google charts as well. With people who, um, one of the things we talked about initially was, you know, you have some toy money and utilize it to, everybody's cool with utilizing our public information officer to do that. <coughs> we never got around to that. And last year, that was one of our goals to try to get some essential marketing uh, uh, for our region on that issue. That's a great idea. It's showing, you know, we're working together with trying to get the problem solved. So, Marty, one of the things I did talk about with EMC was perhaps some contribution to our region to have that marketing for us. Uh, that we were very willing to speak to that as well. So, just another option that we may have to do exactly what you're talking about. And, you know, terrorist events happen. We have, we have talk, started that conversation pretty pretty heavily as far as our next phase on how to improve the quality of life on the river. It's a market advantage. You have to make sure that you got minor. Um, I still want to develop our group with our parks and rec authority. But again, same what you are. Google it and see what comes up. So I think it's your major market advantage down there, especially in the first areas. Like if you got water. And I think you got lots of land. And I think you got freedom. Two state parks and one private park. I think you also have Plantation out there, I think you're going to like the market. I think it would be very attractive. Like you said, you said both. We have Blue Springs at Hamilton County, Swanee, <coughs> Madison County. That's probably at one time one of the most visited deep uh, water, uh, what do you call it? What? Mango, uh, the, uh, Magnitude Springs that visits from all over the world. You know, there and now you don't see that. I have one more quick question. How many um, commissioners do we have in the city? Or, well, no. are they all city commissioners, city council members? How yeah. many are there? We have seven council. Okay, so how many are here tonight? One left. Are you one? And you're one. So we have four. My question is I realize, for one thing, it's a church night. And some people do have other obligations on Wednesday nights. But considering that now at this point in the meeting we have three out of seven left here, my question is, are the commissioners, are you taking it seriously? Yes. Are, are, you, are you concerned and you, you realize because you do deal with your constituents whenever there's a problem. So you can imagine me dealing with the ones in my district as this comes down. And that's why I was just asking you because of the lack of attendance here. Maybe they just had other commitments and could not make it. It's been scheduled for a long time. I can I'm promise you the three that we're missing at the start of this live for the one And yes, yeah, and I realize Wednesday night meetings are difficult because of that reason. And really, in that case, you're putting the right thing first. I will say that. But I. I was just wondering, thank you. It, it pains us all, I promise you. I have an ecotourism point. John, you're our last, okay? It's related to the panel on January 18th. Well, yes, we need to do a lot of marketing, everybody, about 
things across both sides of the state line, and I'd like to thank the city of Valdosta for its support on the thing we're trying to do, which is the Troopville River Camp, which is a great ecotourism thing across the state line. But in order to counter the widespread perception and Google uh, search problem, we need data on which to base that. We need to know when the rivers are clean. And while everybody's here tonight because of all of the wastewater, that's not the only thing that gets into the river. So the only way to know that the rivers are clean is frequent, regular, closely spaced testing. Yet the city of Valdosta wanted to make a real good gesture that from, uh, compared to one sewer line would not cost much. The city of Valdosta could start doing some testing <coughs> downstream at additional places and do it on a weekly basis. That's my suggestion. John, what time do you want to start on the 18th? Uh, meet at 9, travel at 10. Yeah. Yeah. Book round. You've got yes. a question, sure. Roger, by the way. Sorry. Last question for you, Have you all had any visit by the federal EPA Department of EPA Environmental Protection Agency? Has there been any contact at the federal level about this particular spell? No. No, they don't contact us. They've been working through EPA. Have they been working through EPA as far as you know? As far as I know, they have been working through EPA. Sorry, I have two, but they'll probably both be quick. At the very beginning, you mentioned you had a second kind of, you know, your first thing failed, your second one should have caught it. You mentioned floats that go up and turn off lights. Um, is there any way that you could make those floats turn off the buzzer or go into your regulatory system, something where it's being shown to you rather than just flashing a light for someone else to put in? Um, and then the other question was actually, I think your name is Mr. Rick. Um, do you know if your springs are doing any marketing as far as like Google AdWords and Our things? local TDC and Chamber of Commerce, they, they market that all the time. Okay. When I say TDC, our tourist development account. And the answer to that question is yes. And some of those have been implemented uh, as a well. right. Again, the January 18th battle will start at 10. Get there at 9, please, so we'll be ready at 10. Yes, we'll do a shuttle. John, John has uh, said that uh, there is a fee for members. It is. Uh, for non members, it's $10. For members, it's nothing. If you're an elected official, you get in free. <laughs> 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 I think our members are all required to tell you. All right, then. December of, of, of this year, yes. yes, there was another budget spill in December 2018. That's what I think.